All right, so I'm going to show you how to play this uh, card game here. So this is set up for four players. Each player gets dealt a hand of cards. They each have 10 cards for this setup here. Each player also has three little tokens. Uh, you do not want to be the first person to get rid of all your tokens because then you lose uh, the game. Each There are cards numbered uh, 1 through 12, I believe. Uh, there are four, I believe, of each card. And then there's some special cards buried into the... Um, not buried, but played. For example, there's this card here which if this card gets played, uh, it's going to force the person whoever wins the pile of cards to have to take the three top cards from this draw pile. There is a X card, which is a wild card. It could be used as any kind of number you want it to be. And there is a stop card, which will stop the round and cause you to win the pile. Why would you want to win the pile? Because if you get to um, lead the next one, which if you're trying to, and the goal is to get rid of all your cards, uh, or at least not be stuck with, the last person stuck with cards, or to not be the person who cannot play on your turn. If you cannot play on your turn, you're going to, the round ends, you have to give up one of your tokens. Again, after you give up three, you're okay. You only have three. After you give up three, that's fine. It's when you have to give up a token and you don't have it. So your fourth loss, essentially, uh, would lead to that. If you are ever not able to play your, a card from your hand, you can instead add one of the car two cards that are randomly put in front of you into your hand wherever you want. However, when you are dealt your hand of cards you may not organize them. They have to stay in the order you receive them. And so what you're going to do, it's kind of like a uh, ladder game where you're going to put down a card and then the next player has to be able to beat that card. So if I put down a single three, any one single card higher than a three would beat this or any two cards together that form a straight, like five, six, would beat that. Any pair would beat five, six. So if my two sevens were together, um, I could play them as a pair or I could play this in my wild card as a pair of sevens. Uh, what beats a pair is a run of three. So six, seven, eight would beat a pair. If, um, let's say the eight was on this side of the X, and it was 7x8, it could still count as 6, 7, 8. It's still a straight. It doesn't have to be in numerical order. It just has to be, they have to be together in your hand because you can't rearrange your cards. And then what beats three cards in a sequential order or a small straight would be three of a kind. So if my x was where my 8 is and the 8 was somewhere else, I had 7, 7x, seven that would be three of a kind. So if this player is going to start off the round, he can play anything he wants. And so things he could do is try and void this out to where he gets these two cards to be his last two cards. And then he has a pair that he can play. Or he can just try and get rid of the three since it's a low card. And um, if you're not leading with the... If you have a low card, you pretty much have to lead or else it's going to pass you by and you're not going to be able to play. So he could play his three and then in the future play the stop card, which would be an automatic win. And then he would get to lead and then lead again with the next three if he wants. So he has a three card straight here or a two card straight there. Uh, he has a three card or a two card straight there. He could play his eight giving him a pair of sevens or trips and sevens. If he plays the pair of sevens, then he has a small straight. I'm going to do that. I'm, so I'm going to try and void out this to have a pair at the end. Uh, so I'm going to play the eight to the center. Oops. And then there you go. All right, so this player is 
cards, he has to play something higher than an eight. So a, a pair could beat that, or a small straight. So he could play four five and beat it, or he could just play a twelve. If he played that twelve, he would have. Oh, he'll do that. He'll play the twelve. And another thing you could be doing is looking down here, because. Um, like I said, if you can't play, you have to take one of these cards into your hand, but you can also just choose to take one into your hand. So if putting this one into my hand somewhere would give me a powerful thing to play, then maybe I'd want to do that. Then, So then this next player would have to play something higher than a 12. So that eliminates single cards. So he could do a small, he could do a 7-8 straight. Uh, and I don't know that this guy has much else. <laughs> uh, yeah, so he'll do that. He'll play a 7-8 straight. And this player has to beat a 7-8 straight. It cannot be equal. It has to be greater. So a pair would do that, and I don't see a pair. So does he have anything in sequential order? I don't see it. He could put the 11 into his hand to have a pair for later. Hmm. He could play the stop card, automatically win. But I don't know that he'd want to do that so early. He could play the this card. He has to play something or else take a card into his hand. Or else he could play the draw three, meaning that this player over here who just played those two cards would have to, he'd win the cards, meaning he would have to take three cards from the pile. And we'll just do that. All right, so he's going to play that card. So this player wins. So he gets to take three cards. So the way that this works is you have your hand. You draw the cards one at a time and place them into your hand however you want. So he has a nine. So he could put the nine, you know, right by these nines, try and get rid of the 11. He is starting the hand, so maybe he'll put that nine there. He'll lead with the 11. He'll have a pair of trips that he could use. He hits a four. He could either put it here for two fours or over here for some kind of a straight. I'll do that. And the third card is a seven. Well, just gonna put the seven over there because if I play the three, four, five, it gives me options with a, a nine, ten to be played if I need to. All right, so he's gonna do that. All right, so then he leads with the 11, which will leave him with now he has trips that he can play in the future, uh, then this player has to beat an 11. So he can do his little 10, 11 straight. So he'll do that. This person has to be a small straight. So his pair of sevens would do that. Yeah. All right, I'll do that. A pair of sevens. And then this person has to be a pair of sevens. So they could do their small straight. So they could do four, five, six. They win, so they get to lead. So now... One... He will, hmm. So this play is 10. This person will have to beat a 10. So they could do the three, four, five. They could do their thing here, but they'll just do this. Three, four, they'll do three, four, five. So small, straight. So the only thing that beats this is another smaller straight or three of a kind. This person does not have either of those, so they have to pick up a card into their hand. So either the 11 or the 2. They will take the 11. 
into their hand. Now this person has to either beat that or take a card into their hand or they could play the stop and automatically win it right away. If they play the stop, then they would have be able to play the two. Have that thing. All right, they'll do that. So they'll do that. They'll win with a stop. They'll lead with two. So now they have a straight and then a pair. This person has to beat a two. So they will play their... I'm just thinking if someone plays a three and I have to pick up three cards. All right, anyway, I'll play a four. This person would has to be a four. They will play their seven. This person has to be a seven. They will play their eight. They do it, they get to lead. They will lead with their one. This person has to be a one. They will do it with a five, six. They now have three threes. This person has to beat five, six. They can do it with a pair of twos. This person has to beat a pair of twos. They can do it with trip nines. Or they could put this out there, forcing this person, who's going to win the trick to have to pick up three cards. They'll do that. So this person gets the last three cards. One and X. Oh, so put it here. And a 12. All right, now they lead. <laughs> They'll lead with the six because if they can't plan another round, they have to pick up their one, their ones. They could build up a pair or trips of ones if it gets to that. This person over here has to be a six. They do so with a 10. This person has to be a 10. They'll do, <laughs> they stop it and play low. They might, they will. They'll stop it there and then they'll play their, oops, I can't rearrange them. Uh, they'll just play their three. This person has to beat a three. They play trip threes. Can they beat trip threes? They can, they can beat it with trip twelves. Can they beat trip 12s? Or did they they started it, right? Yeah, they, let's see, trip 12s, trip 3, so they know. All right, so can they beat trip 12s? They cannot. <laughs> so they can't, so they have to put a card into their hand. So either the 6 or the 8 goes into their hand. I'll take the 8. All right. So now they have a small straight and a pair if they need it. Uh, so this is gone. This person was won the thing. They play a single card. This person just has to be a single card. They play a four. This person has to be a four. They play a five. This person's out. This person's out. So they win the... Thing they have to, they can play whatever they want. They play a pair of 11s. Can this person beat 11s? Yes, trip nines. And then can this person beat that? They can. So what ends up happening is since they both go out, they both lose a token because they're the last players in. If it had been the other way, where this person played the 10 and this person had an 8 and they couldn't play it, then this person would have been fine, this person would have lost a token. But since they both went out at the same time, they both lose a token. And then you shuffle up and you do this until somebody cannot play a fourth time.